Welcome to Beit Bushra, I'm Bushra and this is my home. Today we're making fatayr of sabanikh. I love this. This is probably for me tastier than cheese pasties or cheese pastries. Um, I like the sabanikh ones more and I'll tell you why. It's because number one, easy way to get in a lot of your veggies, especially spinach. Spinach is not something that I like reach for in my fridge. Number two, it is sour and savory and spicy and sweet all at the same time. It's so delicious. I'm really happy you're here with us today so we can make this together. So let me show you what you're gonna need for the sabane. Okay, right, so this is everything you're gonna need today. And I have gloves on because we're working with a little bit of green onion. And if you saw my last week's video, then you'll know that I don't like touching or eating raw green onion. So we're doing that. Also, I have a green spicy pepper and I don't wanna get any of this on my hands and then accidentally touch my face or my eyes. So we have some green onions, like I said, we have a spicy green pepper, we have cilantro, um, mint, this should come out when you chop it to about one or two tablespoons of mint. This is totally optional. Um, I have also pomegranate molasses, walnuts, which I will chop, dried mint, olive oil, some or sumac, and I have about a quarter of an onion. And I'm gonna chop this first. So a long time ago, I had a video about chopping onions and how to not make you yourself fry um, while chopping onions and the best trick I found someone told me was to put your onions in the in the fridge or like if you have a piece of onion like this to just wrap it and put it in the fridge and when it's cold it actually doesn't release as many of those um, chemicals I guess that make you cry and I want to show you guys my spinach voila isn't it so gorgeous so what I did with my spinach was I just washed it and I washed it really well yeah so this is about a pound of spinach and all I'm gonna do is take some regular like table salt and I'm gonna salt this and you want to put it kind of in between all the layers okay don't go overboard but definitely you're gonna need I don't know about two heaping teaspoons we want to draw out all of the moisture so that you don't have any soggy filling and we can work on different ingredients so if you've never cut green onion before um, I'm gonna teach you how to do it so you want to take off this end the butt end piece and you want to cut off just the tops of this kind of like mm, I don't know bruise a little bit so you want to cut those off Do you see how it has this like nasty green skin right here so we're gonna get rid of that and how you do it is first you take off the butt and then you just peel it and it comes right off it actually comes off around the entire piece and now you have a fresh um, clean piece of green Onion. Once you have a few of those lined up again, you want to take off just the tops of that. And then basically you want to line them all up. I'm just going to show you two right now. And you just finally. Okay, so it comes to about maybe one cup. Okay, I'm going to do my green spicy pepper next because I'm still wearing these gloves. If you don't have spicy jalapeno or spicy green pepper, I think this is a serrano pepper. And a really good option is to do like just spicy chili flakes or a spicy like pepper paste. Okay, I want these very thin because I want them dispersed in the entire salad. So, I'm gonna put them a little bit more. I'm gonna put them directly on top of my green onion, just like that. You can see here there's actually a lot of water that has been released already. So that's great. We're gonna squeeze out all the water soon. Probably in about 15 minutes. I'm gonna chop right in the middle. People are gonna hate me for this. So I have my cilantro nice and chopped here. Um, you got rid of the stems, you don't need the stems. I'm gonna move this to the side. And now I have my spinach. Look how gorgeous it is, you guys. It has reduced, it has shrunk quite a bit. So what I wanna do is I have this like colander thing. Okay, and you're gonna just take a bunch of these and squish them and squeeze them so that, I mean, you don't have to squeeze it so much, but I wanna squeeze them so that I get most of the water out, most of the spinach water out. And then I'm gonna put it in the colander and probably one more bunch. Get all these little pieces. So here we have our spinach, as you can see, lovely and green. I actually wanna chop these up roughly. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that. So you just take one of these bunches that you and just chop it into smaller pieces. Spinach at the bottom. I'm just gonna go ahead and put all my cilantro as well. 
Next, I have my mint, so I just want to pick the little leaves off. So here I have my mixture. I'm going to put in all my green onions and the green pepper. Um, again, the green pepper, just, I had it, so I used it, but usually I use shatta or like a spicy pepper paste. Um, and then I'm also going to put in the regular white onion. You could also do red onion, that would probably taste good in it as well. Okay, have my dried mint. And my sama. Sama is this uh, tart, like pink flavoring. So good in salads. And as this is a type of salad, okay, it's gonna do really, really well together. I want to now chop up my walnuts. So, so here it is in all its glory. I'm gonna zoom you guys in just a little bit. Do you remember how much, how much spinach we had? This is all that it makes. I wanna say it makes about like maybe three cups. It's like three cups of filling. Um, now, it looks dry. That's because it is. Alhamdulillah. So we're gonna put some olive oil. Olive oil. We're gonna put some olive oil. Good quality olive oil. And this is the star again. Um, this is pomegranate molasses. Mmm! So sour. That is delicious. And I'm just gonna cover this and let the flavors marinate. I wanna show you a close up. Look at the filling. It looks so amazing. I have my dough, which is my ultimate dough recipe. So beautiful and smooth. And as you can see, and I'm just going to take off little pieces. I'm just gonna show you how to do one and then I'll show you what it looks like at the end. The oven is preheating to 350. I want this pretty thin. a nice amount of filling in there and we're just going to you're going to close one corner close another corner and then the bottom and then we're going to flip it over for the signature um, triangle shape okay, so close one side and the other side it's hard to do this one-handed okay I find that sometimes they open if I leave them like this, so I just want to flip it over. It's right here. Okay. You do not need to brush it with any oil. Definitely not an egg wash. If you want to brush it with something, probably olive oil or canola oil would be good. And I'm just going to fill up the rest of this and then we'll put it in the oven. I use one batch of dough to one batch of the spinach recipe that you'll find in the description box below. And I'm going to bake these for about 20 minutes at 350 until they're nice and golden at the bottom and then I'll move them to the top rack so they can get nice and crispy at the top as well. Okay, this is like caramelized sauce from the inside. See the bottom is nice and done. Just going brushing a little bit of regular olive oil on this to keep them soft. This is optional, I don't usually do it. Bread is going to soak up that olive oil flavor. Here's my Fatayra Sabadeh. I've pressed it in the panini maker so I can get these lovely lines which lead to a lot of flavor. <laughs> so here it is. I just wanted to break this on camera for you. Oh, do you see that steam? I'm not sure if you see that steam. I wish you guys could smell this. It's like my favorite thing to have for breakfast. It smells amazing. Oh, it's so sour. It looks the way that it does. I should probably stop chewing. It looks the way that it does, um, less green, just because I'm not filming this on the same day that I made it. This is actually leftover savannah from yesterday, and um, the color will change a little bit, but the flavor will actually intensify. So I'm surprised there was even one left. Masha'Allah. You're gonna love this recipe. Make sure when you make it, tag me on Instagram, tag me on Twitter. Links for my social media is in the description box below, as well as the full recipe and measurements um, on my blog. You're gonna love my ultimate dough recipe as well. That one is tried and true. It's the only one I use. To be honest, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed eating that fatayr. If you love this recipe, I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section below. And um, thank you so much for watching. Please share and like the video. And I'll see you next time, inshallah.